Well, this is Duke Street, and this is the testing area for making the whole of Douglas a chewing gum free area. The noise you hear in the background is the machinery that does that. And uh, today, there's a big press launch of uh, keeping the uh, Douglas area particularly tidy. Uh, Richard McNichol, this is uh, now you're not mayor, this is what you're concentrating on, is it, this job? Absolutely. It's always been one of my prime goals to have a, a litter free, clean Douglas. And this is part of, of that ongoing work. The machine, which, by the way, we came down yesterday to film, wasn't working again. It's about, every time I come down to film it, it's never working, so you've got issues with it. But it is working today, but is it effective? Yes, it is, yes. Like you say, when it works, it does work well. Um, we have had teething problems for quite a while with it, but now... Fingers crossed, it is working well. We cleaned all this area yesterday. They're down here today to help launch this anti-gum campaign. And uh, hopefully, what it is is letting the public know that to spit their gum out in the street is not acceptable. We have plenty of litter bins around the town. All they have to do is put it in the litter bins. Now you're telling everyone that there could be a £50 fine. There will be. Well, let me, let me put this to you. This is not a new law. So tell me, today, how many people have you prosecuted for spitting out gum and, and then getting a £50 fine? How many? At the moment, uh, let me count it up, uh, none at the moment. But it, it's part of a nationwide campaign in the UK. and um, We are associate members of the Keep Britain Tidy group and they have this Pride in Your Town initiative. And that's really what it is, it's pride in Douglas. People who throw down litter, who spit out gum, and gum is litter, they, they have no pride. They have no pride. We, we want a town to be proud of. That's our ultimate aim. So no one's been prosecuted, you've, no. yet you've got these wardens that go around, they're, they're looking out for that, and dog poop the, and all sorts of things. Paul, the wardens are newly appointed. They, we, as you know, that we changed our car parking system, so we don't need the wardens in the car parks now. They were traffic management. Now we've moved them onto the other side of the fence, and now they're, they're patrolling the town, looking for offenders, and there will be no warning. They have been told, you don't warn people for spitting out gum, you find them 50 pounds. So this time, what, maybe we'll come back and talk this time next year, you'll have quite a lot of people you'll find, will you? And a huge bank balance as well to go with it.